Hello, in this video we're going to derive an indirect utility function from a quasi-linear utility function, and then we're going to show that the indirect utility function is homogeneous of degree zero. So we're going to derive an indirect utility function for a quasi-linear utility function, and we're going to prove that the indirect utility function is homogeneous of degree zero. In other words, doubling all prices and income will leave the utility level unchanged. So here is our quasi-linear utility function. We're going to let m equal income. Uh, the price of good x is p subscript x, price of good y, p subscript y. So the consumer's budget constraint is given as follows. The money income equals the price of good x times units of good x plus the price of good y times units of good y. First thing we'll do is get the marginal utility of good x. So taking the partial derivative of the utility function up here, bringing the one half down in front, the one half and two will cancel. And here is our marginal utility of good x. So this exponent here minus one half is just one half minus one, leaves us with x to the minus one half power. And the marginal utility of good y is straightforward; it is just one. Setting up a utility maximizing condition, I'm going to take the marginal utility of good x and divide it by p subscript x, and doing a similar thing for good y, one divided by the price of good y. We're going to solve this expression for x. So just moving some things around, multiplying both sides through by the price of good x, bringing this, neg this x with the negative exponent down into the denominator, squaring both sides and solving for x, we have the demand for good x. Let's get the demand for good y. So taking the demand for good x and plugging it into the consumer's budget constraint, where I have x, I will now plug in the ratio of the prices that is squared. And we're going to solve this expression now for y. So simplifying here with this px and divided by px squared. So this step here, I just divided everything through by the price of good y. And now moving some things around, we have the demand for good y. We're going to take our demand for good x and demand for good y and plug it into the utility function, and that will give us our indirect utility function. So where I have x, I'm plugging in the demand for good x. And where I have y, I'm plugging in the demand for good y. We can simplify this a little bit. This one half times two up here, that will cancel. And we have our indirect utility function. Let's show that this indirect utility function is homogeneous of degree zero. In other words, if we would double all prices and income, the consumer's utility would remain unchanged. So here is the indirect utility function. And now here's our indirect utility function. We're going to multiply each variable by alpha. So alpha, for example, could be 2. We're doubling all prices and all income. And if we're to factor out here on the right-hand side of the equation, we'd get this. And so alpha divided by alpha is just 1. So there is indeed no difference between the utility from doubling all prices and income and not doing that. The indirect utility function is unchanged. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.